I watched this TikTok and I kind of like, let me know if you guys are with me on this one, but did Michaela just admit to lying about Lashgate? Hey Shelby Bells, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name's Shelby. I'm the crazy cat lady of the drama community here on YouTube. I bring you the tea seven days a week with the help of my investigative research team, Mr. and Miss Kitty. Miss Kitty is the brains around here and Mr. Kitty is the face, which sometimes means that he brings us a little bit of clickbait. It's easy to forgive him because he's so cute. You. So if you like cats and you like tea, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget that all Shelby Bells ring the bell. I'm like starting to film this video and I'm like, hello, what is going on? I just got done film filming this video. It's like a pretty long video, just like a life update of mine. So I'm pretty sure that video is going to go live after this one goes up. So stay tuned for that one. But I was just getting really deep with you guys. I didn't really cry, which is a shocker, but I got pretty deep with you guys. And now I'm like getting into petty, like lash mascara drama again. So I'm kind of like, what, like, what am I feeling? What am I doing? How am I talking? Whatever. I don't really have the words right now. So here we go. Let's get it together, girl. Let's do this. Basically, this is as kind of, I think this might be old tea at this point. I think this might be old tea, but I want you guys to not tell me. Well, actually, you know what? S leave a comment, girl. Leave me a comment and boost my little engagement, right? Okay this old tea and I'm behind you better let me know I'm behind and how dare I come from Michaela like this and she's the queen and all that stuff you better let me know in the comment section down below because I need the engagement honey I haven't been very active lately and I could use all the engagement I could get okay um so basically let's get into this video so there is a tiktok and I but I, I don't you guys this is old at this point this is old tea you've already seen all the drama videos about this you've already seen everybody talk about this but I want to talk about it because your girl has some opinions okay and that is um Michaela doing her her mom's makeup on TikTok. And I'm just gonna roll for you that, so roll it. A lot of people say I look a whole lot like my mother. I'm 24, she's 64. So what would happen if I did my makeup routine on my mom? Let's see what it looks like. So I'm statin with the brows, Nick's brow glue. Now she doesn't really have much eyebrow, so I had to do some magic here to make them look like mine. It took me a lot of time, but I did it. All right, now we're gonna go on to the base. I'm gonna underpaint. This is Tom Ford. She's got to be really bronzy. That's key. This was my first time trying the Givenchy concealer. And holy shit, it looked immaculate on my mother. Like her under eyes looked plump and hydrated and there was no creasing. So I was really impressed with this concealer and I cannot wait to use it on myself. But I let her take that home because damn, it looked good on her. So if you have mature skin, that's a good one for you. So I'm using it to highlight certain areas of the face. Now I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, one of my favorite drugstore foundations, and I'm going to give her a light coverage because her skin is freaking perfect already. All right, here's the skin. Doesn't it look like mine, but like an older version? <laughs> I generously applied bronzer all over the face, and then I'm going to bake with the Estee Lauder Loose Powder and a powder puff. This will just brighten everything up and really lock everything in. No, we got to hit it home with the blush. Now, genetically, I was not blessed with these beautiful ocean blue eyes. But I'm going to use a blush color that's really going to make those eyes pop. I mean, come on. She's already starting to look like an older version of me. Do not forget the ears, guys. Never forget the ears. Okay, now we're going to move on to the eyes. I'm using a Huda Beauty palette. I'm going to apply some P. Louise base. Now, the skin under the eyes and the eyelids is the thinnest. So that's what she's experiencing drooping, as you can see. But I'm going to work with that. You can see she still has a crease. I'm adding a pretty transition color in the crease and a pop of shimmer with this Charlotte Tilbury Pop Shot. Now that I've applied all the powders to the face, I'm gonna take the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. This is gonna bring life into her skin, make sure those powders melt together. And would it be a Michaela look without this infamous combo? The L'Oreal Telescopic Lift in a pair of Adele Wispies. I'm also gonna tight line. Now, this is the first time my mom has ever put on false lashes in her entire life, and she slayed in them. They looked so pretty on her. I also added some shimmer liner to the bottom. For the lips, I wanna do a natural pink toned lip. I'm not really gonna overline her lips. So I just lined to the border and filled them in. Gosh, isn't she gorgeous? But this was the star of the show, this Ciate Glow. This is gonna give her that youthful appearance. Okay guys, here's the before and after. This is what I'm gonna look like in 40 years. Are you ready for that? I'm ready for it, cause she looks fucking beautiful. I ain't afraid to age.
And as you can hear at the end there, okay. Oh my God, hello, that is so unattractive. It's the Diet Coke, you guys. Oh, I'm coming to the slow, in parentheses, you guys, this whole Michaela nonsense. I'm coming to a slow but sure realization that I think that she is going to be broken up with um, at some point in my life, um, the foreseeable future, um, because I, I feel like I my body is almost rejecting her at a certain point. Like I get such bad heartburn from her, her being the Diet Coke. And I get, you know, sometimes I just even, I just drink it. And I'm like, oh my God. Ugh. But this used to be like something where I just like constantly drink, drink, Diet Coke, Diet Coke, all that. And I feel like my body is starting to tell me like, put it down, stop. Like, you don't want this. This is not good for you. It's killing you. And I know it is, but I haven't wanted to admit that it is. And um, yeah, so I have heartburn because I've been drinking this, but I think that she might be, she, she might be getting broken up with soon, but I don't even know what I'll do when I decide to break up with her. So forgive me if I have the heart indigestion and heartburn. It's because of the Diet Coke, you guys. Anyway, <clears throat> Michaela, that TikTok, right? So at the end there, she was like, she used the Lashgate mascara, the L'Oreal telescopic lift or whatever, which by the way, you guys, I'm still, well, not currently because I got my lashes done. Um, I'm using them on my, I'm using it on my bottom lashes when I wear makeup, but um, I was using that mascara pretty consistently before I got my lashes done. And um, it's not an awful mascara, it's really not. But anyway, um, she said something in that video about like you know and no look is complete with a pair of without a pair of Ardo wispies and she did it after using that mascara and my thought process was like did she just admit that she has more than wispies in that in that damn tiktok did she just admit that is that just me because that's what i that's what i i put two and two together these were well these were the lines and I read between them, okay? I read, well, that seems suggestive. I don't know, I read between the lines, girl. <laughs> not the, not this, that's suggestive, I don't know. I read between the lines and what I gathered was that she was just admitting to mascara gate, to doing the thing, to wearing the falsies. And at this point, you guys, I don't think anybody can give a damn about that damn mascara anymore or that damn the lashes or anything else. I know I certainly don't could care less at this point anymore. I mean, it's over, the drama's done with it, it's fizzled out. We don't, we just know now we don't trust her and that's just it, we just move, keep it moving to, you know, and she's gonna keep doing the same thing. But you know, it's probably gonna happen again. I'll make more videos about, you know, the, the new thing when it happens again, but you just, you know, you know what it is at this point, right? And so, I realize that, but I feel like either in that moment of the TikTok, she's either admitting to doing this or, or she is realizing that the, her kind of like the, how she's being talked about, the extent to what she's being talked about is kind of dwindling again a little bit because you know the drama faded out and she wants a boost of relevancy again she wants a boost in you know media talking about her and all of that and so she brought it up again and i have a feeling i have a strong feeling that it might be the latter <laughs> because if there's one thing that we have learned about these influencers over the course of time from the Jaclyn Hills. And you, you guys all know, Michaela Noguera is a baby Jaclyn Hill. She is this next wave of beauty influencers, Jaclyn Hill, okay? And if there's one thing that Mr. Kitty is just like, he, I talked about this in my last video too, that you guys will probably see after this one's posted. But Mr. Kitty, I'm outside on the patio right now, on the balcony because I don't have my tripod and this is like the easiest place for me to film and the weather's kind of nice. Mr. Kitty is looking out the window to me and he wants to come out here so bad, but I can't let him out here because Mr. Kitty, his government name is George and from Georgia the Jungle, okay? And I'm just nervous that he's gonna like come out here and I'm on the third floor, so God forbid he's dumb enough to do this, but you just never know with these dang cats. He'd come out here, see a bird or something, and just 
try to jump on after it or something and it's far it's a far ways down i mean i'm pretty sure he'd be good if he jumped i'm pretty sure he'd be i mean it's far but there's like stuff he could probably land on i don't know the, the point is, I don't want to lose my cat. I don't want my cat to die. So I don't want to bring him out here. But he is um, looking at me like, how dare I be seen but not be able to be accessed is what he's looking at me like. He's like, I cannot access you. There's a door here. How dare you do this to me? You're ruining my life. You are so selfish. You're the worst mom ever. I can't believe you would have a door in between us is basically how he's acting so um he's so cute over there he's just looking at me with like these like the cutest little like 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 sad kitty eyes baby you're a kitty but you can't come out here he is upset how dare i put a door between me and him to where he cannot access me he is upset okay um, and then he also wants to talk to you guys and he can't because he's inside he's being a good boy though i'm so sorry. okay i'm sorry he is so distracting he's distracting when he's not even out here girl okay um so so i i mean anyway so jacqueline hill you know michaela jeffree star james trump nikita dragon's a big one you know they 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 want to remain relevant and so when they're not being talked about anymore, they will start to do things and maybe bring up and all it takes is a stupid sh like comment within a TikTok about something completely different for everyone to start talking about the same thing again. And, you know, I feel like sometimes these people, they look at themselves and what they put on the internet as a business and a persona. Actually, I know they do. And so... It's a business marketing tactic for them to get people to start talking about them again is when they, when they stir up the drama again, when they bring it back up, it then makes other people talk about it, which makes drama channels talk about it, which makes them more relevant again, right? And that's exactly what's happening here with this Michaela thing, I think, at least when the TikTok was first posted, I'm sure I know people talked about it, right? But I really think that, you know, that is, while it's smart business and a smart marketing strategy, I just feel like it takes the authenticity out of the whole beauty guru, the makeup influencer thing, right? And I said this a lot of times before when I was talking about this whole Lashgate thing when it first happened, you know, like with beauty influencers and makeup beauty gurus and makeup youtubers and all that i felt like part of the joy in it when it first started was that like you could actually find out authentic reviews and how products actually worked on real people and hear their opinions on it whether it was just a regular girl that did her makeup or whether it was somebody who was like a who worked at the counter at Saks at this you know the matte counter at Saks or the or the whatever the brand it is and it's just evolved into something so big and honestly a little like a little I mean it's like everything that humans touch this is gonna get really kind of deep here everything that humans touch turns into being about greed and money and this whole makeup thing on YouTube is in TikTok and social media in general is the same thing it's like when it first started, it was all about, you know, let me show you, I want to show you how to take, do makeup because I do makeup really well. And maybe I want to teach makeup to somebody one day, or maybe I want to be a makeup artist or I am a makeup artist. I'm trying to get clients or, you know, like I just love makeup and I want to show you what I like to use and what you should use and what maybe wouldn't work for you or good products but, and all that. And it was just about the honest, genuine, you know, aspect of it. And now it's all about money. It's all about money. And it just takes kind of like the fun out of it, you know, it takes kind of like the beauty and the fun out of it, I think. And I think that's kind of like, literally when I think about Michaela, I just think of her as like the epitome of what's not fun about the beauty community. And when I think about Meredith, Duck Meredith Duxbury, and when I think about Jaclyn Hill, and when I think about all these big people now, I think, you know, they're just about what money and greed has done to this industry and not about 
you know, these smaller creators. Like I used to, when I first started YouTube and I was a beauty channel, I was a part of like these Facebook groups of other small beauty influencers. And when, when I think about how they were just so authentic and their reviews and what they liked and what they didn't like. And the, there's just a level of like realness and rawness and authenticity in in this world when there's not hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars being pumped to these people to say something's good when it's not or to or them feeling the need to like be controversial to get more followers or get more views i just feel like it's really just taken a dark turn and I feel like Michaela is a perfect example of that. <laughs> and I feel like she, I feel like Michaela's career was born after all of the authenticity had already really kind of started to fade in the beauty community. And I feel like when I look at her, she's almost like a caricature of like a, a beauty guru and what it's supposed to be. She, I feel like Michaela is almost a caricature, caricature, is that how you say it? Caricature of the old school beauty guru down to like it her having like this weird accent and like her just being so incredibly obviously fake i feel like it's almost like a caricature i don't know anyway let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all of this stuff with michaela and the whole tiktok with her mom and like was she admitting that she wore ardell's in that pose was she just trying to get attention like what do you think about the you know, authenticity and realness of the beauty community and all of these people. Like, let me know your thoughts on everything I talked about in this video. I'd love to hear from you. And aside from that, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember that all Shelby Bells ring the bell. And yeah, guys, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. If you enjoyed today's video, YouTube should be suggesting a couple more down here for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. And aside from that, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.